The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Andrew's eye surgery and Gregory's kidney operation. Six-month-old Gregory has been diagnosed with hydronephrosis, a painful condition in which urine becomes blocked inside his kidney. Let's put him on the bed and get him undressed. I'll take his temperature. As a result, Gregory's kidney function is deteriorating, which could lead to poor physical and mental development. Today, Gregory will undergo surgery to clear the blockage in an attempt to restore his kidney function before irreversible damage is done. I'm Dr. McGorry. Hi. Why don't you just tell me what took you, this little guy, to see Dr. Cormode in Huntsville? Okay. Um, Gregory was screaming a lot. He was crying all the time, and his scream had changed too. It sounded painful, so we took him to my doctor, and he suggested an ultrasound. So he had an ultrasound, and they found it just by chance. Now we're here. My kidney right. is okay. swollen up and is appears to be blocked. I'll tell you what our understanding is from all these tests is that the tube from the kidney has formed in the manner of having a, a kink or a twist in it or we know that sometimes the muscle just doesn't develop yes. and that what we do is we actually take that take a small piece of that tube out and then put the tube back together again mm -hmm. um, so it's not blocked. I would anticipate that he'll probably have, we generally leave a small stent or tube inside the kidney. It just ensures that the, everything's lined up when we put it there, and then we take that out in the clinic. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. Eight months ago, nine-year-old Andrew suffered an injury to his right eye. So I'm gonna put your eye drops in. Scarring on his retina has left him with severely impaired vision. So just look up. Today, Andrew will undergo surgery to remove the scar. Okay, ready? The operation could result in retinal detachment causing blindness, but it is Andrew's last hope for improved vision. Cool. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So this was an, an injury to your eye. I see. What happened? What happened? Um. We were taking like sticks and poles and bashing it up and cousin Spencer swung it around and smacked me right dab in the uh, smack dab in the middle. Of your eye? Yeah. With a stick? A pipe. A pipe. Pole. Okay. Your eye said, are you able to see out of your right eye? Yeah, when I want to look at something with my right eye, I have to look off to the side. Because um, I don't have my center vision. I just have preferable. the Awesome. Do you have any other questions? No. Okay. So you all set? Yep. Okay. Um, you know what happened uh, to Andrew's uh, right eye was with the injury, with the blunt trauma, he has a break in the, the choroid. After that break, he has formed a very thick scar. And unfortunately, that scar is sitting right in the middle of the uh, center part of his vision. So with that, he really see poorly. Mm -hmm. And uh, the surgery is an attempt to remove that scar. Any surgery has some risk. And right. uh, the real risk that I'm concerned is retinal detachment. Right. That can happen in about 10% of the cases. But the, the hardest part is after the surgery. You have to uh, keep yes. it face down mm -hmm. for yes. a good uh, 10 days to two weeks. Yes. And so that's the only thing that uh, really is that's hard. That's going to be the hard yeah, part. That's right. It's more work after the surgery than actually at the surgery, at the time of the surgery. So what do you think? Are you alright with all that? Yeah? Do you have any questions or concerned about anything? Nervous? Yeah. Yeah, just normal. <laughs> okay, alright. So uh, I'll, I'll see you inside. Thanks. Okay, okay. Thanks thank you. Much. I'm Dr. Kemp Anesthesia, and this is Gregory, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. For the anesthetic, I should tell you, we'll give him a mask of laughing gas, render him a bit senseless, mm -hmm. and we get him off to sleep, mm -hmm. and so he doesn't have to be uncomfortable. Right. We usually put the laughing gas on, make it smell like bubble gum or something pleasant, sing him a song, and then he's <laughs> off to sleep. Any more questions? 
Right, love? Come. Wanna take this one? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna take this one, little bunch? There you go. Okay. You're all set. You won't take it till you're big. Okay. <laughs> in the space between the rib and the, the hip area. And this is a space that doesn't have muscles in it. And the kidney is well protected within the rib cage. And as we've seen the large dilated stretched out part of the kidney and the collecting system, we're now going to, I can now, I'm now looking at the normal ureter, bulging kidney there, and the normal kidney right here. And what we will do is we will take out this section of blocked junction, which hasn't quite formed right, and we will sew it together in a manner that's more funnel shaped and open. Hello, Andrew. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good. Somebody bonked you, did they? Yeah. What happened? Well, I was at my dad's one weekend in October. We found a whole bag of old lawn chairs, and so we we're smashing it up with pipes and sticks, and then all of a sudden we're having fun, and then just then it hits me, and then mm. I was screaming like... I'll bet you were. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to help you get better. Yeah. Very good. All right. Well, I'm just going to go set up the room. Okay. And uh, we'll take in a few minutes, okay? Alright. Okay? Yeah. My stomach's turning. Is it? Is it kind of trembling? Butterflies in there. Yeah, that's okay. We're now inside the kidney there, and there's the area we're going to take out right there. I will go across. 5 proline, please. But this is a small stent. It helps the, align the area of the repair in these very fine tissues. And uh, one end of the tube will stay in the kidney. The other will go down the area of the repair. And that stent will help the kidney drain during its healing process. Take it like that. We're all done. Fine. I have left the small stint in there, which acts as a stabilizer over the core, over the first healing days. Right. Then we'll have you home and have you come back. Taking that that little stint out is sometimes babies pull them out. We've done everything we can to stop that happening, but that we'll teach you how to take care of that. And uh, okay. okay. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I want to see him now. <laughs> Those things you can't do that. Oh, okay. Just raise it. All right. <laughs> Yes, 
sits on the corner of these. Can you get the light pipe ready, please? Yeah. Uh, right. So you can see the star right in the middle there. Yeah, this is all the light. Yeah. Do you have the uh, subretino uh, yeah. instrument ready? Okay. So let's try it. We're going to uh, inject through the retinal from this side. You see the detachment for you? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. If you inject too fast, the, the jet solution will blow a hole in the retina. One of the worries is that when you take out the scar, you take out all the LPE with it, but uh, it looks like there's still healthy LPE underneath it. So, um, and the scar just come away on its own. So that's fine. So we're going to take out the uh, fluid inside the eye. And we'll do a complete airflow exchange. Yeah. Because it's going to be a complete fill, eh? Meaning that the, the whole eye to replace the with uh, with the gas. Through the eye again. It's better. Yeah. Okay, six, six point inject. When you're down to twenty, let me know. So that I will start tying up the superior port. Okay, it's a little light, just one yeah. more injection will be fine. Three. Yeah, I will be fine. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Hi. Hi. Everything went quite well, actually. And uh, we were able to uh, isolate the scar and remove it in a single piece. And, oh, wonderful. Uh, overnight, he will have to start keeping his uh, face down positions. Right. But um, shouldn't be too bad because. Uh, the surgery only requires small incision to the uh, to the eye, so the eye shouldn't be too too uncomfortable. But that's it. You all right. You just had a little touch of morphine, and he was a little bit um, in pain, so it's a small amount, but um, he says getting a little bit better. That's good. You Okay. Cool. Let's go do that. Yeah. Okay, so I just have to cut those little stitches and out it comes. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah. Okay, one, two. One more. Ouchie! Oh, that didn't Ouch, that wasn't very nice. No. That was a mean one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a mean one. Okay, all done. For a second. All done. What are you doing? You cried more for the stitch. All the urine will bypass down now to his bladder. Oh. So there won't be any more pain for him or anything? He shouldn't have any discomfort out. at all now that this is Good. out, yeah. Go 
morning. Hi. Hi. Um, we want you to tell him the importance of keeping his head down. It is hard, I understand. Yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, terrible. Look at me. Great. Can you see uh, the shadow from, from the gas bubble now? I can see a big black line just arching yeah, yeah. right over. Is it in the middle or in the bottom? I'd say higher than the middle, not the top. Okay. But I still need you to uh, keep your head down for a little longer. Mm -hmm. So by keeping your head down like this, mm -hmm. then the gas bubble will it will move away from the lens. Because right now, in the, this part here, mm -hmm. on the back surface here, there's a little bit of um, uh, changes from the gas touching it. You start to have a little bit of a smudge on the lens now, and mm -hmm. that, that probably will clear. But if you don't um, get that gas bubble away from this back surface, then it's going to get thicker or more cloudy, and then, the, then you can see less because of that cloudiness of the lens. Surgery June the 22nd, is yes. that correct? Yeah. Good. And how are there any problems? Not really. How's your vision? Um, the top half's pretty good, but mm -hmm. there's a shadow of the bubble. Mm -hmm. The Like, at the bottom of the shadow, I can't really see that one. Okay. Let me check your vision. Okay. So cover your left eye. And just look straight ahead for me. Into that. Do you see that letter up there? E. Keep going. Mm. Try really, really hard. All the other ones are just a little black dot. Can you see the letter beside the E? Mm. No. Okay. You're right there? Yeah. Your eyes watering? Kind of. happy to me here. Mm -hmm. So overall I have <clears throat> I've taken the opportunity of actually looking at his uh, ultrasounds before I saw you um, and they're much improved and I would suggest that he's now pretty well on the the, uh, the path that I would expect after an operation like this. Right. He's in the normal post-operative state now of a kidney that's fixed that I think will stay fixed and working with them for a long, long time. You know, get them on to being interested and in jumping around, getting into all the trouble that... Uh... <laughs> that thing's working on it. Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Now that Gregory has had his surgery, he no longer suffers from the pain of a blocked kidney. Gregory has good kidney function, and he shows all the signs of normal physical and mental development. Now, when you, when you look at things now, um, I remember you told me that um, before we had the surgery, the center of it was quite uh, unclear. Is it still like that, or is it uh, has it changed anyway? Uh, a little. A little. Yeah. It's get the blur is getting a little smaller. It's smaller. Yeah. As far as the surgery uh, and the aftercare, everything seems to be fine. Like he's healing nicely. He didn't develop any complication related to the surgery. Mm -hmm. He was good in position afterwards, and and that uh, that clear. So there oh, is perfect. no uh, no residual changes related to it. 
The uh, the cataract that was starting to develop has that done? Dis disappear. Oh, has it? Yeah, which is good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Good. That's um, good. We, yeah. I knew it wasn't going to be a hundred percent right away. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. You guys keep your eye on the ball. And keep your eye on the other corner too. Good one. Five months after surgery, Andrew's eye continues to heal. You want to try? Although his vision has not been entirely restored, Andrew can now see better and can look forward to improvement with time. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Daniel's Cranial Reconstruction. Thank you.